Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Sarah's Canvas Studio. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button because you're in on an incredible journey. I help ignite creative new ideas in your brain so it doesn't matter if you're a novice or a professional. I'll show you exactly how you can do everything that I'm doing with the simplest of tools and easiest of ways. Today we're going to do a couple of things. We are going to create a printable tarot card deck for Etsy. For that, we are going to use ChatGPT. This will help us brainstorm on what we want our tarot cards to be like. Next, we are going to use an AI image generator to generate our tarot card designs. We will use Leonardo AI as our free tool and we will use Midjourney as our paid tool. This will be a great way to see what the difference is between the two and which one you should use. After that, we are going to format our designs on Canva and I already have videos where I show you how to list your Etsy listings. I'll link them below so you should check them out if you want to know how to list your listings. So let's get started. So I've already opened Etsy here and I have searched for this a printable tarot deck. And as you can see that there are about, you know, over 3,500 results, which is pretty low competition. And even within those, you can see that, you know, there are different kinds of designs, different themes, like over here, this one, um, it says it's a printable body positivity tarot card design. So, you know, um, I'm sure there are very less of these over here or, you know, I can't see any um tarot decks which look like this so you know this is um uh very low competition uh usually tarot cards look like this so you know um so this is something that uh, would be difficult to compete in again you know there's a celestial kind of design here minimalist designs and um very uh you know colorless designs there are guides here as well and uh, yeah, so you get the idea. Like, look at this. This is um, a very minimalist, flat illustration style. And uh, yeah, so we are going to be, uh, you know, creating our own designs through uh, Mid Journey and Leonardo AI. We are going to use ChatGPT first to, um, you know, give us ideas on what kind of theme we should go for. And then we'll work our way up from there. So I have um, ChatGPT open in front of me. We are going to help, uh, ask it to generate some ideas for our tarot cards. Before that, I think if you are if you do not know what tarot cards are or how many uh, cards there are in the deck, uh, then we should you know give it a prompt to tell us that. So I gave ChatGPT a prompt asking it how many cards should a tarot card set have. So it said that it should have 78 cards and of those, these are divided into the major arcana which has 22 cards and then there's minor arcana which has 56 cards. So we're going to be generating um, 20, 78 designs. Right, so I further went ahead and asked it to make a list of major arcana deck of cards. So it gave me this list which has the fool, the magician, the high priestess, the empress, emperor and so on. I'm going to do the same for the minor arcana and um, I asked ChatGPT to uh, give me some suggestions for the theme that we should go for and which art style or illustration style we should go for. So these are what it gave me, nature, elemental themes, mythology and legends, steampunk, tarot, sci-fi, zodiac, astrology, art movements, uh, fairy tale tarot, animal spirits, cultural, fantasy world, vintage, minimalist. So I think I went for um, the mythology and legends theme and I think we're going to go for that. And it gave us these prompts, but you know, we're not going to use these because uh, I tried uh, using these, but it was of no use. I'm going to show you exactly what to do on my journey to create your design. But yeah, first you need to, you know, um, get your list of the major arcana and the minor arcana styles okay uh the cards so these are the 22 cards from the major arcana and i'm gonna open um first i'm gonna open leonardo ai and uh then we're gonna go work on my journey as well to really compare the two so i have leonardo ai over here and i'm just gonna click launch app here and it's gonna just told me that my trial has expired but don't worry it has a free um, it, it usually gives you uh, 150 tokens i've already used 20 of them for today so it's like you have 150 tokens for every day where you can generate your designs um so i'm gonna click ai image generation here and if you can see i've already you know tried generating some designs here um yeah so we're, I'm, I'm gonna show you what you're going to do 
So the first card that we're gonna go for is the Fool. And we're gonna go for the Greek mythological and legends theme. So I'm just gonna write that over here. I'm gonna write tarot card, the Fool, Greek mythological character style, and yeah let's see let's just keep it simple and see uh i am going to go for the illustration style there are different um styles that you can go for um we're gonna go for the illustration v2 model and we're gonna go for the leonardo style and i'm going to um keep the dimensions two by three and i'm gonna click generate here and i've also selected four images over here um to four variations of the same um, prompt. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so these are the designs that you know Alchemy uh, Leonardo AI has given us. Um, if you ask me, I'm not very impressed. This is not what I imagined. Um, let's go ahead and test our prompt on mid journey. So um, that's what I did. I added the prompt tarot card, the fool, Greek mythological artwork, intricate details, and I gave it the dimensions of 9 by 16. And this is what it came up with. It's pretty nice and intricate. I'm just going to open it um, here so you can see that it's it's actually really good, very impressive. We're going to test out a few different art styles. Um, so this was Greek mythology. I also went with the amateur doodle art style. I'm going to copy this uh, prompt and I'm going to test it out on Leonardo AI again. So let's go ahead and add our prompt here and generate it. Okay, I am not impressed at all. Guys, I don't know what you think, but um, yeah, this is not. Uh, if it works for you, fine, but I don't think this, I don't like this. Um, if you compare this with the results that um, Mid Journey gave us, this is something that I was expecting, you know, this, especially I was going through something like this, and it did generate uh, some pretty impressive designs. So this was the Doodle Meme art style. I really like this one over here. This is really nice. Um, so yeah, you can compare these. I think Mid Journey is paid. It's just like ten dollars a month, but it's really worth it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and create my art designs here. You can see I've created um, you know different art styles here: minimalist, funny, illustration style, amateur artist style. They're all pretty impressive, but I think I will go with. Um, one of these styles and that is going to be this one here the doodle meme art style this this one here is really good so i'm going to go for this art style here and we're going to create all our designs and you know so stick with me and just watch me make them okay so i'm gonna um upscale one of these i like the first one so i'm gonna upscale the first one here and then i'm gonna copy this um prompt and i'm just going to be changing the card names here so i'm gonna um, you know, slash imagine and paste it here. And instead of the magician, I'm going to go for the fool, which was actually the first card. And this is the magician is the second one. But yeah, uh, you get the point. So I'm just going to replace magician with the fool. And I'm going to click enter. And let's see what it generates for us. We want it to be as similar to um, you know, all the cards as possible so that it's like one singular theme. And as you can see, this one is. It has bright colors. It's it's really, you know, like very pop art style. So yeah, something similar to this. And let's see. Okay, so I can already tell that maybe we, I, I might go for the fourth one or maybe this, the third one. I, I like the third one, actually. It looks very similar to this one that we've made. So I might just go for the third one. So let's go, let's upscale. Um, actually, I just want to see again. Actually, let's upscale three and four both. 
and then we'll just see which one you want. So I'm gonna upscale three and I'm, I'm gonna upscale four. So the drill is the same. We're gonna um, add our copy and paste our prompt and instead of the magician, we are going to write the high priestess. I'm going to copy this, the third card, and I'm going to replace it, place the magician with the high priestess. And I'm going to click enter. Be sure to add the dimensions, which is two dashes, aspect ratio AR, nine by uh, nine by 16, nine ratio 16. Um, okay, so that way it will be a horizontal image. If you don't add that, it's going to be a square image. So, and we don't want that. Our tarot cards are supposed to be vertical. So, we're going to go for that. And it's already generating a really nice image for us. Let's just go ahead and copy this prompt and let's see what Leonardo creates for us. I am not impressed, but you can already see what the images it creates for us. I think if you have a paid version, of this then it might work for you but as a free tool it's also not that great but yeah let's give it another chance hmm so these are pretty similar to the images it's already created over here if you would like you can always you know go with these images maybe like upscale them and all but I think um, this is much better than uh, Leonardo. We are. We should go for. Hmm. The third one. Fool. Magician. The fool, and the high priestess. Um. I like the third one. And I also like the second one. So I'm going to upscale both of these and now we're going to create our just the Empress. There you go, click enter and you can already see how detailed, how pretty these card designs are they are really impressive and we will be formatting these on canva after we have all our uh, cards ready so i really like the fourth one here it really goes with our theme so i'm going to upscale the fourth one and i'm going to create another tarot card for um, us and which is the emperor so and this is what i'm going to do for all of our tarot cards, the major arcana and the minor arcana. So we're gonna create 78 designs here. Okay guys, so we are going to download all the designs that we have um, upscaled. So I'm going to be download downloading these. After we've downloaded our designs, we're going to go to Canva and we're going to enter our width and height for the tarot cards, which is 2.75 inches into 4.75 inches. And we're going to click create a new design. And this is our art code and we will be formatting our tarot cards over here. So we're going to go into uploads and upload all our cards. Okay, so let's add our first one. And we are going to enlarge this. Okay, so I searched for a little roll and this is what it gave me. I really like this one or this one actually. 
and I'm going to be placing this over here. Make it a little smaller and I'm going to be writing the card names on this. So let's go for text. Editing. And I will be placing this here. So I decided that we need a bag design for our um, tarot card as well. So I'm just, I just gave my journey this prompt tarot card bag design to do Neymar style, right? So all it colors, intricate details. Let's see what it comes up with. And uh, I can already tell that I like the third one. It looks very pretty. I think I might upscale the third one. Or the fourth one. Um, let's go for the third one. So after we've designed our cards, we're going to save these as PNG, and we are going to keep the size as is, and we're going to download them. Now we're going to head over to Canva again, and we're going to go for an A4 size document, and we are going to be formatting these cards um, on this page. So we want four cards on one page. So we're going to um, go into elements. We're going to go into shapes. We're going to select uh, this shape, a square. And now comes the tricky part. Um, we need to adjust our size. Uh, so we're going to go for a transparent color and we're going to put this border around it and we're going to keep the border weight to two. Now we need to make the height about um, 121 millimeters. So that's what we're going to do because 4.75 inches equals 121 millimeters. And that's what we're going to do. So, so it's 120.9. We need to carefully bring it to 121. There you go. Now we need the width to be 77. And we need this to be 70, the width to be 70 millimeter, and there you go, we did it. So now we only need to copy and paste this. We want four of these, so we're going to make four, and now we're going to tidy this up. So we're going to select all four, we're going to right click, and we are going to space evenly, vertically. We're going to tidy it up. So now it's spaced evenly. Now we're going to adjust um, our tarot cards in it. We're going to upload our files that we just. We're going to upload all of these. And we're going to adjust them on the A4. There you go, and we're going to do it for all our cards here. And there you have it. We have formatted them on one A4 size. We're going to duplicate this page, but we're going to delete our images 
and we're going to do the same for all the images but in this one i'm just going to show you how i'm going to be formatting our back and i downloaded this picture as our back uh tarot card back so i'm just going to be adjusting this image here and it's this one so let's just zoom it in and going to just copy and paste this in all four boxes here and there you have it we have our backs of our tarot cards ready and we have the fronts of our tarot cards ready now we only need to name this tarot card deck and we are going to download it as a pdf print and there you go it's ready i hope you guys enjoyed making this and i hope you do a better job at this and create even better designs and um, if you do do share them with me and i will see you guys in another video later bye bye